What's going on party people? This is Dylan Fletcher from Forsyth Gun and Pawn. Today we are going to be looking at one of the most iconic guns in movie and game history. One of the most recognizable guns in the whole world. Quite possibly the coolest gun ever designed. Trust me. Not that one. Son of a bitch. Almost forgot. 44 Mag Desert Eagle. Eight in the clip, one in the pipe. That's nice, man. That's right. The 44 Mag Desert Eagle from Israel Military Industries. Now, although there have been tons of models of the Desert Eagle, this is the one that started it all. This is an original 1980s early 44 Mag Desert Eagle. Now, I was first introduced to this gun in this. I get uh, 10 bucks on pump two. Susie, you know, this really pisses me off. Your store's got such nice, clean, filthy, fresh air, and it just takes a couple of scumbags to stink it up. You know, if I had a nickel for every time some piece of shit pointed a gun at me, I'd be a rich man. Oh. Super cool! Now the Desert Eagle was introduced in 1983 and immediately it was put into movies because it was the coolest looking thing anyone had ever seen. Everything from the weird semi-triangular shaped barrel to just the absolute girth of this beast is absolutely iconic. Now these things have always been a little bit more on the expensive side, but are they worth it? Hell yes! Are you crazy? Yes, it's worth it, because it's a Desert Eagle. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted one of these. Now, some of the finer details of this gun are that it holds eight rounds in the mag and one in the pipe for a grand total of a nine round capacity of 44 Magnum. Now, before this gun came out, no one had really gotten a good hold on making 44 Magnum operate in a semi-automatic handgun. Some people attempted it, didn't work out. Oh man, these things, oh, it just sounds, it just sounds unique. It sounds so unique. Listen to that. So cool. This thing sounds like a big clunky bunch of steel just being slammed around, which it is, because it's a Desert Eagle and it's amazing. These things weigh about 42,000 pounds. This weighs as much as a Buick. Now another cool thing about the Desert Eagle is that it is just as friendly for righties and lefties. And that is because it has an ambidextrous safety switch. that can be easily operated with your thumb. No trouble at all. Look at that. Look at that. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Yeah. This thing is gigantic. Just look, look at all that. that that's a huge huge gun but then again it has to be you're accommodating a 44 magnum round inside this handle with a magazine so the 44 mag rounds have to fit in the magazine and the magazine's got to fit in the gun and the gun has to be beefcake enough to handle those high pressures so yes this thing is huge now as far as recoil goes i think that most people know how that typically goes i think most people have seen the videos Truth be told, it's not that bad. Yes, it's a 44 mag going off in a semi-automatic handgun. That's not the most friendly thing in the world for your wrists. But as long as you don't limp wrist this thing, and you got a good grip on it, and you've shot guns at all, you're probably going to be okay. Now, this gun on its own is just super cool. But what if we want it to be stupid? What if we want it to be the ultimate Desert Eagle? I'm talking about ludicrous speed level awesome. Well, for that... We need this. <laughs> Nothing says I'm going to blow your car in half like a 14 inch barrel. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. This looks like something from space. I'm coming, peace. Man, this gun is cool. I need to have me on a leather jacket with the rising sun on the back and some tight little pleated khaki pants and cowboy boots. I already look like Dolph Lundgren. Might as well have the get up. Just needed the gun. 
Have you guys ever noticed how much I look exactly like Dolph Lundgren? It's uncanny, right? Listen, I could waste all day talking about how awesome this gun is. But you know what I want to do? I want to shoot it. I want to pull the trigger. I want to blast off some ammo. Let's go shoot this thing! Way better with this barrel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice now. Good shot. Dude, this thing is awesome. This thing is stupid fun. It is so choice. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. All right, party people. We have brought a young, petite woman out to show everybody that it is possible for petite women to shoot a 44 Magnum Desert Eagle. All these videos you see on the internet, the chick's getting hit in the face with one of these things. It's just because they're weak. They're super weak. Tell them they're weak. See, I told you you're weak. Perfect. Now just set it down. Awesome. Show him. <laughs> you had to go all kawaii with it. By the way, amazing T-shirt. I don't know if I told you that. Amazing T-shirt. It's amazing. What a what a wonderful artist. All right, that was it. So, again, I'm Dylan Fletcher for Scythe Gun and Pawn. Drink some Black Rifle coffee because it's absolutely delicious. Come into for Scythe Gun and Pawn. We got tons of stuff like this. We got a lot of stuff in right now. Tons of ammo, tons of guns, lots of Black Rifle coffee. Come by and see us, and I will catch you next time. Peace!